Hello everyone, I am Nathan Thompson. I'm a seminarian for the Archdiocese of Indianapolis and I'm spending the summer here at St. Joe's. Father Mike asked me to do a number of videos about sacramentals, just covering what they are, um, what they do, how we should treat them. So I'm beginning this series today with just a quick overview and introduction to what sacramentals are to springboard us into a number of other videos uh, going more in depth to different sacramentals. So first off, sacramentals are uh, objects or actions instituted by the church that give grace through the church by their actions or by their their maybe being as well as or being used the in some way. physical sacramentals dispose us through grace to receive the sacraments you notice the connection between sacraments and sacramentals in the words sacraments of course the seven sacraments are the the main ways in which we live our faith but sacramentals are good ways where we're able to receive grace to to live our life of sacraments, our life of grace. So it's easy to talk about grace and just use that buzzword, but oftentimes we talk about it without knowing exactly what it is. So when we talk about grace in the conferral of grace through the church uh, and through sacramentals, what we are talking about is is how I see it is separated between uh, an external uh, kind of giving of grace in a less uh, kind of spiritual way and more of a uh, intellectual way. So if I'm holding a crucifix, which is a sacramental, I'm, I'm receiving grace in the sense of uh, grace that I'm not able to perceive in myself, that the Holy Spirit is pouring uh, his love down upon me, the love of the Father and the love of the Son down upon me uh, to live a life of virtue and a life of holiness and live a life growing in merit before the Father uh, better. Whereas there's also, as I'm looking at the crucifix, I'm also seeing my Savior dead on the cross and I'm seeing physically and kind of present to myself, I'm seeing how much our Lord loves me and how much our Lord loves all of us. And that may bring me to tears. That is not necessarily that grace of the Holy Spirit working upon me that's working kind of in the background, that, that's more of the, the foreground grace that I'm receiving uh, more intellectually. So there's these two kind of this, this interplay between foreground grace and background grace. The, the background grace is, is more of the grace that, that comes from the intercession of the church that is, uh, you know, maybe tomorrow after I pray my rosary, I, I choose not to talk about someone behind their back. And that was by the conferral of grace that Our Lady had for me through my praying of the rosary. Uh, now, I can't say specifically, you know, at that moment, I can't say, ah, this was, this was the rosary that I prayed yesterday. I know that for sure. But at the end of time, when I stand before our Lord, I will be able to see all of those times where the Holy Spirit worked in my life through actions that I was able to commit through his grace, through actions that I was able to, to do, like praying the rosary through his grace. And I could see all of those times where even in the background, the Holy Spirit was working on me. Now, as I'm praying the rosary, I may be saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, and thinking to myself, I desire to be full of grace. And maybe I'm, I'm praying with the, the scourging of our Lord. And I, 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 it brings me to tears again because I see how much our Lord loves me and how much my sins cost him. And again, there's that foreground grace of, of seeing the, the beauty and the love that our Lord has for me intellectually um, and desiring to, to move my life in a direction of service to him through that, which is not necessarily that, that background grace, but they work together too, right? I, I'm brought to that foreground grace through my desires, which may be in that background grace for, 
for holiness and for virtue. And I know that in my, my pursuit of holiness and virtue, I want to pray more rosaries or I want to wear a scapular because I know that these things will help me grow in grace as well. This concludes our first uh, video of the introduction to uh, the sacramentals and we will pick up here soon with a few more videos about them. Thank you. Thank you.